This is Marquois the Irrelevant hosting its pitiful show. Even more pitiful because I just got up from a nap and my eyes are probably puffy. I don't care and I don't want to hear about it. I am uh, here with my producer Billy who is hoisting a chili dog up to his mouth as we speak and his girlfriend Daisy who has paper towels because now she is prepared to wipe up Billy's mess, which we'll discuss at the end of the show uh, real quick, because uh, people have short attention span theater. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, there was a girl who I had the most, this was the biggest crush I've ever had. It was in high school. And in high school, of course, I told all my friends, oh, I have a crush on this girl, and it, this is one of the crushes where you can't even go up and be Don Juan or Rico Suave. Hmm? I don't know who they are. This is not an informative show, Billy. <sighs> anyway, couldn't talk to her. And in high school, there was a day called Rose Day. And you could buy, I think it was for a buck. One buck, buy a rose, sign your name, give it to your favorite girl, whatever. So, and here's what's happened. Here's what's happened, or what happened. All my friends, what did they chip in, like a quarter a piece? They bought a rose for this girl that I had a crush on. And I remember this exactly how it went down. It went down by, in the back of the school, Prospect High School. In the back, I was going up the stairs, she was coming down the stairs, and of course I was just like, you know, avoiding contact because I was so nervous I thought I was going to fall backwards. And all of a sudden she looks at me and she goes, thanks for the rose. And I was like, huh? And we kept walking because I didn't know how to talk to her because I had such a huge crush. I get to the top of the stairs, and I'm like, my friends, bastards. So anyway, that is what happened. They bought the rose for this girl, <laughs> and I was, I was, I didn't know what to feel about it. But, but, so at first I was kind of angry, but then in uh, a few weeks, I actually ended up taking her out and you know, getting to kiss her. And she was really pretty, too. And uh, So then I went from angry to being thankful for my friends, to my friends, uh, and I should get them a fruit basket or something. I don't know. So anyway, that's the story. It ended up well, but it was very nerve-wracking at first. So that's the end of the show. And I always know it's the end of the show because that's when Billy starts uh, spilling his food. He's, uh, chili dog all over the front of his shirt. Who does laundry? And Daisy is uh, cleaning it up. So on behalf of my producer, Billy, <laughs> you're better at entertainment than I am. And his girlfriend, Daisy, I am Marquand, the Irrelevant Hosting. It's a pitiful show. And it was pitiful. Uh, how now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Don't touch my camera.